welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here i know what you're thinking why is she doing a favorite in june when she does this quarterly so i shouldn't be seeing these favorites until july you're right my friends but i have been thinking long and hard about my favorites videos and the schedule that I want to be on for those videos. They tend to be really, really long when I do them quarterly, well over 30 minutes, sometimes even reaching 45 minutes. So I've been thinking long and hard about it and I'm thinking of doing them monthly instead. That way they're a little bit shorter. I can really be on the ball with showing you my new favorite things instead of stockpiling them, sometimes forgetting some of them when I do it quarterly. So that's the plan is to be doing a monthly favorite. So why not start halfway through the year with the month of June? Now this video is going to include probably a lot more products just because I haven't done one for a couple of months because we're approaching the end of the quarter. But the next videos moving forward every month should be shorter if that's something that you guys are looking for. So without further ado, I have a ton of favorites. So let's jump right in we're first going to start with food favorites and i'm going to throw in a couple of refrigerated items first so i can get these back into my refrigerator so first is this delighted by dessert hummus in snickerdoodle you guys, this is so incredibly delicious. They also have this in brownie batter as well. This is so good. It's made from chickpeas, just like traditional hummus, but it's sweet and cinnamony, just as a snickerdoodle should be. I did find this in the refrigerated section, actually at Target. It is two smart points for two tablespoons. I love to dip graham crackers in these, eat it by the spoonful. It's absolutely delicious. Next on my list is to pick up the brownie batter excellent ingredients and again what a fantastic sweet treat next up are the cleo bars you guys know i'm a huge fan i love these this is essentially chocolate covered greek yogurt fantastic ingredients absolutely fantastic ingredients great macros little high in smart points six smart points per bar I use this as a dessert because i figure that although it's six smart points i'm getting a really good quality good ingredient dessert I love these. They are only 140 calories. So this is where I question WW a little bit. I feel like this is such a better dessert choice than a lot of other things that cost a third or a quarter of the points. But nonetheless, it is six smart points. Well, well worth it. Next up is another sweet treat because I'm all about the sweet treats. These are the Partake gluten-free birthday cake cookies. These are exceptional. So, so delicious. I found these at Target. I've actually never seen this brand before. So when I spotted these in the cookie and snack aisle at Target, I had to pick them up and I was pleasantly surprised on how delicious that they are. I am not gluten-free, but I tend to lean towards a lot of gluten-free items. I think mainly due to ingredients and sometimes smart points. These are only two smart points per cookie. You can have three cookies for 130 calories. They are a crisper cookie. They're not a soft baked cookie, but the flavor is literally on point to birthday cake. It's absolutely fantastic. I love having just one or two of these as a dessert. I really truly love these. I've actually repurchased these twice since originally finding these. They are $4.99 per box. Of course, I'll link everything down below that I can find for you guys but highly recommend if you're looking for a low point, gluten-free, good ingredient cookie, Partake takes the win. Next up are Mary's Gone Crackers. You guys know I love her seed crackers, but these, I'd actually never tried these. I picked them up from the Thrive Market. You guys know I'm obsessed. I am favoriting the Thrive Market. I love the Thrive Market. Down below in the description box is a link to join the Thrive Market and you'll actually get $20 worth of free products of your choice with a year membership. And they also give a portion of the proceeds that they earn from the membership, similar to Costco, but they give it back to the community. So that is so amazing. Thousands of great foods, 30% less than you'll find in your traditional retail store and rare items that you don't see anywhere else. This is actually one of those items. I've never seen this at a grocery store. These cookie cookies, these crackers are so good. They're similar to a wheat thin in shape and texture and crispness, 
but they're so good. I like to eat them by themselves. They're great for, to dip into cottage cheese or really any dip. Spread a Laughing Cow cheese wedge on these. So incredibly delicious. Love these crackers. I love the Mary Seed crackers, but these ones, these ones have taken over my heart when it comes to Mary's Gone Crackers. Next, up is the purely elizabeth granola i just recently bought this chocolate sea salt one again at target there's a pattern here of target this granola is so delicious it has fantastic ingredients it is going to cost you a little more smart points than the julian bakery i will pop in a picture right there of the julian bakery granola that one is extremely clean and you can actually have half of a cup for only two points i'll link that down below for you guys and there's a discount on the julian bakery website as well i'll put that down below this granola you can have a third of a cup for six smart points so it is a little bit point heavier but the ingredients are outstanding the flavor is solid it is so incredibly delicious i tend to only use about one smart point on top of my granola and i love the pairing of the sweet and salty it is so delicious i can't wait to get my hands on some of the other flavors but highly recommend purely elizabeth or of course the julia bakery granola next up is actually a ww product i know who am i there's a story behind this. I actually went on the WW website to purchase the popcorn popper, which I have received. I have not used it yet, but if I love it, we'll feature it in next month's favorites. And in order to gain free shipping, I had to spend $25. Well, I don't need any of the WW snacks due to their ingredients, but then I was just kind of sifting through the website and I spotted these truffles. So these are actually made from the brand That's It. They make a pressed fruit bar that's literally fruit and that's why they call it That's It. Really, really good fruit bars, but they make these truffles for WW. They're fig truffles, they're coated in dark chocolate, they're absolutely positively delicious. They are one smart point a piece. They are excellent, excellent, excellent ingredients. So I had to pick them up to try them. So this is actually what the size of the truffle looks like. You can see that I actually have eaten a couple of them and you can't beat one smart point and excellent ingredients. The issue with these truffles is the price. So this little box of six truffles was $10. Now I know that you're automatically going to pay more for good quality food which I am a-okay with. It was hard for me to part with $10 and really the only reason I did it is to get the free shipping on the popcorn popper. I wouldn't necessarily not buy these again in the future, but I do think the $10 price tag is a little bit hefty. But if you like Fig Newtons and you like truffles, these are actually really good and you can't beat one smart point. Next up, is one of my favorite sweet things. I've talked about these in so many videos. It made perfect sense to put this in my favorites. And that are the Lily Bee's Brownie Thins. This is the chocolate mint. This is by far my favorite flavor. She also makes a salted caramel, which is delicious. And then just a standard chocolate, which is also really good. These are like the little crispy corners of a brownie. They are so good. They are paleo. They have perfect ingredients, absolute perfection when it comes to the ingredients. You can have quite a lot of them for the smart points. I love these. I actually buy these off of the Thrive Market as well. So another reason to be a member of Thrive, these are really absolutely delicious. Now they are $4.99 a bag, but let's see, there's four servings in the bag. So a little over a dollar serving, which is not bad for a sweet treat with really, really good ingredients. I love these. If you are a brownie fan, especially the crispy corner of a brownie, you're going to love these too. Next up are the Laura Bar Minis. Laura Bar Minis. These are so good, you guys. Again, a find from Target. This is a mixed box of the apple cinnamon and the coconut cashew, cashew cookie. So good, you guys. These are miniature versions of the Lara Bar. So the full size Lara Bar is eight to 10 smart points. These are four points. But if you're looking for a really high quality bar, something on the go, something to throw into your lunch, something for convenience, Lara Bar's one of the best choices for bars on the market. They're just a little hefty in smart points because they use dates, which is actually a fantastic thing. And they're not high calorie, unfortunately, they're just high smart points. So this is the size of the Lara Bar Mini in relation to my hand. So it's pretty small, I'd say maybe like a two by two square. It's 100 calories and four smart points. Now, I'm okay spending four smart points on a high quality snack, what is in here is literally nuts and fruit, so it keeps you nice and full. It's a great way to get in some healthy oils from the nuts, some healthy fats. Love these. I will definitely repurchase. They had a couple of other kinds of Lara Bar Minis. So right now I'm working through these, and then I'll go ahead and buy another flavor. But 
excellent choice for a bar. It's June, so summer is upon us, which is super, super exciting. So what's better in the summer than ice cream? Am I right? So Trader Joe's really outdid themselves this year and came out with these organic yes, organic sugar cones. Last year they had the sugar cones, but they weren't organic. Making them organic and really using good quality ingredients makes this so much better. So way to go, Trader Joe's. These are only one smart point a piece. There are so many things that you can do with these. Of course, you can put a scoop of ice cream in there. You can crush these up over a parfait or ice cream. One of the other things that you can do with these bars, which you will see in my camping vlog, is you can make a s'more on the fire using a sugar cone. I can't wait for that. So stay tuned for my camping vlog. We have several trips planned this year. You're going to be seeing a lot of fun camping trips, but I plan on taking these with me. These were super affordable, less than $2 a box. And one smart point for an ice cream cone with good ingredients is a huge win. Amen, Trader Joe's. Next is another bar. One of my favorite bars. I've raved about these in so many videos, but now that I've really transitioned to a clean approach to WW, I find myself eating these very, very often, at least two to three times a week. And that are the healthy eating all the time and go bars. If you're looking for a perfect bar with ingredients and macros, this is it. These bars have perfection all the way through. Now they do range from six to seven smart points, which again is a little high, but these are meal replacement bars. These I have for breakfast when I'm on the go, or sometimes I'll even have it for lunch if I'm just out and about and I need to tide myself over till I can grab a snack later in the day. I love these. This one is one of my favorites. This is the chocolate peanut butter. It has these really yummy big chocolate chips on the back, which is obviously one of the best parts of this entire bar but these are so incredibly good she's a really small business i do have a discount code i'll put it down below for you guys it's 12 percent off it's not an affiliate link it's simply a discount for you guys she's the nicest lady and these bars seriously if you're looking for a bar with perfection of ingredients and macros pick up the healthy eating all the time and go next is coffee because I love coffee, as you guys know, and I am a big fan of Bones coffee. I do struggle sometimes with Bones, one, having enough flavor, and two, not being bitter. It's a little bit more of a bitter coffee, it's just in the way that they roast it or the beans that they're using, but I've discovered a fantastic coffee company, and that is Coffee Over Cardio. Her name is Abby. She's all over Instagram. You can check her out over there. I'll put her handle on the screen for you guys, but this coffee is amazing. It is not bitter at all. The flavor that it says it is like French toast is on point. It is so flavorful. It's so good. It's so smooth. You don't even need to add any cream. So you can have a black cup of coffee and feel like you're indulging in a delicious dessert. It's just packed, packed full of flavor. You know, I've also picked up a couple shirts from her. I did just recently buy her coffee creamer, which I haven't tried it yet, but that will be featured next month if I like it. But there has not been a coffee that I've bought that I haven't enjoyed. I have the French toast, the chocolate donut, the birthday cake, and I actually just ordered the cinnamon roll one, I think it's called. So highly recommend, again, a really smooth, delicious coffee. I'll link it down below for you guys along with 10% off but the shirts are cute. Everything is so awesome with this company. She's super nice. It comes with adorable packaging. It ships really quickly. If you're a coffee lover, highly, highly recommend Coffee Over Cardio. So next I wanna share with you guys my protein powders. I've been getting a ton, and I mean a ton of questions on what protein powders am I using to make smoothies and protein shakes since I transitioned over to clean eating? So I have three that I have found that I really, really am loving. The first one comes from Primal Kitchen. You can't go wrong with Primal Kitchen. All their sauces, their seasonings, everything about Primal Kitchen is perfection. The ingredients are outstanding. The taste is absolutely amazing. I am in love with this collagen fuel and peanut butter. This tastes like legit peanut butter. It is so good. It is a big dose of collagen. It also has 11 grams of protein. You get one big scoop for 80 calories or two smart points. So I've been mixing this in my afternoon smoothie where I'm using a frozen banana, some almond milk, and some of this. And it's literally like a peanut butter milkshake. It is so good. And I feel great about it because the ingredients are on point. I'm getting collagen. I'm getting protein. I'm obsessed. So I have I am heading over today to the Primal Kitchen website to order some other flavors, and I'll be sharing those with you guys in upcoming videos, but check out Primal Kitchen's website. They ship super fast, 
free shipping with a certain qualifying order. Again, I'll link it all down below for you guys, as well as 10% off that they so kindly offered for me to share with you guys. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a good powder to add to a protein shake or a smoothie. The other one I've been loving, and I've been loving this since I first transitioned over to clean eating. This was the very first protein powder that I had purchased, and this is the Less Naked Way in Vanilla. This has excellent ingredients as well. So great that it's actually sweetened with coconut sugar, which is best in class, paleo sweetener, so good for you. Your body knows how to process it. Just really, really good. It doesn't spike your blood sugar. So I love that Less Naked Way has incorporated that as their sweetener. The only thing I don't love is natural flavor, but all flavored protein powders have natural flavor. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get away with buying a flavored protein powder that doesn't have natural flavor. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but all the rest of the ingredients in this are perfect. There's very, very few ingredients in this protein powder, which is what I like to see. It's vanilla-y, it's creamy. It is three smart points for two huge scoops of protein powder, which you can't beat that and it is 25 grams of protein in two scoops. I love this as a base to really any type of protein shake or smoothie. If you want to make this chocolatey, simply add in some cocoa powder. You're not going to see me purchase chocolate protein powder very often, just because I like to buy vanilla, it's more versatile, and I can simply make it chocolate by adding in cocoa powder, or cacao powder is actually even better. This is really good. I bought this on Amazon, I'll link it down below. And the third protein powder I've been obsessed with is Tara's Way. Now I heard about this on YouTube. I picked this up on the Thrive Market. You can also buy this on Amazon, but it is $8 a can less on Thrive. What the heck? So it is absolutely delicious. Not only is it organic, it's also grass fed, which is amazing. It's vanilla. And this one actually doesn't have natural flavors. So it says, it says organic vanilla. It doesn't say extract. It just says organic vanilla. So that's a little bit up in the air, whether or not that's artificial, who knows, but it doesn't say that it has natural flavors. It's really, really delicious. It is two smart points for two scoops, 21 grams of protein. It's creamy, it's milky, it's really, really good. Now I will caution you on the Terra's way. It depends on the milk that you use. I found that when I used the Simply Almond Milk from Trader Joe's, I'll put a picture of that right here for you, this tasted like sour milk. So I think it really depends on the milk that you mix it with. I've had great success with my Forager cashew milk, right there, and also with the So Delicious coconut milk, also right there. Those two make this tastes really good. It doesn't give it that sour milk taste. So I think it may have just been that milk that I chose, but just be mindful of that. I'll also link the Thrive Market, of course, down below for you guys, which is where I picked this up. But this is really good, really good macros, excellent choice for protein powder. And the last couple of foods aren't really foods, but I've been getting a lot of questions on these as well. And that is what do I use for pre and post workout? I have two favorites, well, three. I do like the Built Boost as a pre-workout. But I find that if I'm doing a really intense exercise, like a really heavy session at Jazzercise, the Built Boost just doesn't give me enough energy to make it through the entire workout. I tend to use the Built Boost more for energy throughout the day and pre-workout if I am out of my regular one or if I need to just take it on the go because it comes in a convenient little packet. So I recommend the Built Boost for sure. I'll link that down below with a discount for you guys. But for post-workout, I'm loving, and I've been using this for a couple of years now. This is the Beyond Raw Precision BCAA. So this is a post-workout, and this is in watermelon. I also have had the mango one, which is so good. This one literally tastes like watermelon candy. It is so delicious. It is a recovery drink. So I mix one scoop of this in with some water, and I generally drink this on my way home from Jazzercise or at my kitchen table, since I can't go to Jazzercise, after I complete my workout. It helps rebuild your muscles. It helps your muscles recover faster, gives you that little post-workout boost of energy. I love this. I buy this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. But if you want a really good and good tasting post-workout, this is an excellent choice. And I don't even count this. It has 25 calories. I don't count points for it. It's delicious. And my pre-workout of choice is the My Adventure 2 Fit pre-workout. This is in the raspberry this stuff is killer. I'm not joking. When I say within 10 minutes of drinking this, I mix one scoop in with my water. I have 
energy. My body, body is tingly and I am pumped literally for my workout. This stuff I will never work out without this. It really works wonders. It helps me make it through my entire workout. I don't become fatigued or tired. My muscles become sore before my body becomes fatigued or tired. This sustains me through a workout. I love it. It's so good. I know there's other flavors. They also have a really good greens powder. I'll put a picture right here for you guys. I haven't bought that yet because I'm still working through my teamy greens, but that will be a purchase that I make because again, small business. She's also over on Instagram. I'll put her handle here on the screen for you. This stuff is killer. I don't count the points of it. I don't even know if it has calories. It has five calories. So it's zero points anyways. Mix it with some water. Down it about 10 minutes before you start your workout. You are set for an amazing workout. And the very last food item, I lied, there was one more, is something that I've shown a couple times on my channel. It is my alternative to queso. Now, I love queso, Tostitas queso, I'm here for it. But the ingredients are not ingredients that I choose to eat anymore. So I was on the hunt to find a replacement that tastes just as good as Tostitos with better ingredients, and I found it in the Siete cashew queso yes this is made from cashews it is better than tostitos the flavor is there it is queso all the way it has a little bit of a kick but not too much because i'm not a spicy person it tastes literally like queso it is smooth it is creamy the texture the consistency it's all a huge win and the ingredients in this are perfect there isn't a single questionable ingredient siete is an amazing amazing company they are a grain free company they make grain free tortilla chips which i love to pair with this siete queso right there i love the ones coated in lime i dip those in this it's so good and this is the same points as tostitos two tablespoons one smart point you guys get your hands on this you won't be sorry me and my husband are both obsessed with this. So now we're going to move in to home and beauty. So the first thing I want to share with you is actually something that I picked up for my kitchen. And a lot of you have reached out about this when I've shown it in videos. And this is my Copper Chef Air Fryer. This is literally a one quart air fryer. It's a very, very small. It of course is the basket style of air fryer. I do have the power of an elite, which is the oven style of air fryer. Both of these, the oven and this cute little copper chef will be linked down below for you guys. I love the color. I love the size. The oven is just big and cumbersome when I only want to air fry something small, like some chicken for my salad. So I pull out this little chef Copper Chef Air Fryer and I'm in heaven. It is the cutest, most aesthetically pleasing, high functioning and wonderful little air fryer. It's $39.95 on Amazon and it'll be linked down below for you guys. Now everything else I have for you guys is going to be beauty. So I have quite a bit of beauty things. I've really, really been trying to transition over to clean beauty as well baby steps. I started with food. Now I'm going to slowly transition over to clean beauty. And then I'm going to make the big transition over for home, clean, healthy options like candles and cleaners and all the things. But baby steps, it's always done in baby steps. So my food is on point. I've really, really done a great job of transitioning to clean beauty, clean skincare, clean makeup. So I found a few favorites over the last couple of months that are clean and that are seriously amazing beauty products. First is this Too Faced Do You Spray. This is a finishing spray after you put on your makeup. This literally smells like watermelon. You're going to see a theme of watermelon. My watermelon post-workout, my watermelon spray, another watermelon spray coming up next. Really, really like this spray. It is excellent, excellent to seal up your makeup. It makes you get this beautiful look of dewiness on your face, but it really just seals your makeup so that it doesn't start to wear over the day. It doesn't start to pool on your face or become flaky. This stuff is really, really awesome and it smells amazing. What I also like about it is when you spray it, it is metered, the amount that comes out. So see that? I actually have to press it down three times to get enough to do my face. So I really like that. So you're not wasting your finishing spray amazing. Like I promised, another watermelon item. This one is from Trader Joe's. So this is the Watermelon Facial Mist Refresh and Rehydrate. It does just that. It is so refreshing to just spray this on your face during the day. It rehydrates your face. If you're someone with pretty dry skin, this is an excellent thing to help keep your makeup from caking throughout the day. And it smells like watermelon and it is so nice. 
gives your face that dewy look. Oh, smells so good like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Really good ingredients in this as well for the most part. They also have a mask. Now I have not picked up the mask that's next on my list to do. And if I like it, I'll share that with you guys. But next time you're at Trader Joe's, this is seasonal, so grab it while you can. This is just a nice thing to have in your bathroom, in your purse, whenever you just need kind of a refresh, rejuvenation to your face for the day. So as I mentioned, I've also moved to Clean Beauty and I've really been focusing on skincare. I have a ton of makeup that I've purchased over the last few months, years that I need to use up before I really go clean with my makeup. I don't want to waste it, but I've been able to go through all of my beauty products, even what comes in my FabFitFun box. So I've moved over to a clean cosmetic and skincare company called Beauty Counter. Now I've talked to you guys about this in a couple of other videos. I've actually shown this product. This is the overnight resurfacing peel. This is a miracle in a bottle. So many of you have complimented on my skin. You said your skin is just glowing and radiant. You look so young. I never would have thought you were 44 years old. You guys, it's beauty counter. It has done a 360 to my skin. I don't have breakouts, blackheads, whiteheads, none of that. Like my face is flawless most of the time. My makeup goes on with ease and I'm putting it on beauty counter. It has made such a huge impact with my skin, I am obsessed. It is the only skincare line I'm going to use moving forward. So I'm gonna show you quite a few of my favorites. First, the resurfacing peel. This goes on at night under your moisturizer and when you wake up in the morning, it's basically done a resurface on your face. It doesn't sting, it doesn't do, it doesn't have any side effects, but you layer it with your foundation, you sleep on it, and your skin is amazing in the morning. So highly recommend this. A lot of you have picked this up and reached out to me and said that you absolutely love this. I'm gonna link the Beauty Counter website as well as each of these products down below. Next up from Beauty Counter is Beauty Counter Time. So this is the age-defying, help with fine lines and wrinkles, the age portion of the Beauty Counter line. They have skincare for all ages, but I'm old, like I'm 44, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna see fine lines and wrinkles, so I wanted to stop that off as quickly as possible, and I picked up the Counter Time, again, the aging products from Beauty Counter. This moisturizer is so good, it smells so fresh and delicious, so I put on that resurfacing peel at night, layer on this moisturizer, and then generally I'll put some type of eye cream on. I'm still using my IT Cosmetics, confidence in an eye cream. When that is gone, I'll be switching to beauty counter. But again, I don't want to be wasteful. And my skin in the morning is just moist and soft and amazing. So highly recommend this if you're looking for something to counter time. Also, there's other types of skincare lines as well out there for the younger generation, mid generation. And then of course, if you're trying to combat aging, which who really is it? Next from Beauty Counter, I'm wearing today. And this is the product that whenever I wear this, you guys always say, your skin is glowing. It is, because I'm using the Instant Glow Illuminating Cream from Beauty Counter. So I put this on before I put my makeup on. So I'm gonna apply my daytime skincare. I'm gonna show you guys what I put on my skin in the morning, and then I apply this before I apply my makeup. And what's insane about this is you can see the glow, the illuminating essence of this through your makeup. It makes your face look dewy and glowy. I literally love this. This will be something I always, always have in my makeup routine. And again, I put this on before I put on my makeup. And lastly, from Beauty Counter is the Vitamin C or the All Bright Serum. This is what I put on in the morning. So when I get out of bed, I wipe my face off with a face wipe. I always wanna wash or wipe my face off in the morning just because, it, believe it or not, it gets dirty overnight. I apply some of this Vitamin C Serum, allow it a couple minutes to dry, apply that illuminating cream, and then my makeup. This stuff is also amazing. It's great to hydrate your skin preventing fine lines and wrinkles. It just makes such a huge difference. So my nighttime and my daytime routine are all beauty counter, and that is where I'm seeing the huge difference in my skin. And you guys are noticing, which seriously means a lot to me. So highly, you guys, highly recommend beauty counter. It's clean, it's affordable, and it has amazing, amazing benefits for your skin. Next, are lashes. You guys know I love my lashes. You always are asking what lashes I'm wearing and I recently announced that I found a new lash that I'm in love with and I'm still in love with it. It's amazing and that is the Tori Bell lashes. They're a cosmetic company but I am really loving the lashes. So these are magnetic lashes which is 
so killer. You literally apply liner just like you would an eyeliner. You apply two coats, letting them dry in between and letting it dry completely before applying your lashes. This is the liner mascara combo. I often will put the mascara just at the root of my lash just for some extra magnetizing hold. The magnets do not have nickels, so they're completely safe for your eyes. And then literally you just put the lash on. It is so incredibly simple. I will insert a clip here of one of the ladies that I am familiar with in the company showing you how to apply the lashes. But you guys, it is amazing. They literally just magnetize right on. And at the end of the day, you pull them off. I use my nail to kind of scrape off if there's any liner or mascara residue. And you can reuse these up to 20 times. There are tons of different lash options. These are the nine to fives. These are a more wispy natural lash. There's a shorter lash, the nature bunnies or the date night. My favorites are the selfies. And then these ones I'm wearing today are the divines. These are a very bold, bold lash. I don't even know if these are still available. I think they were just a limited edition, but there is a lash for everyone. If you're looking for a magnetic lash, if you don't do glue, you want them to stay on. I literally do yard work in these and they don't move highly recommend Tori Bell. I'll link this down below for you guys as well. And speaking of Tori Bell, they actually also have a brow kit, which I'm so incredibly excited to try. When I bought my first Tori Bell products, the color of brow kit that I need was not in stock. That was the brown, dark brown. All that was in stock was a lighter shade more for the blonde, but I'm going to be ordering the brown as soon as it's back in stock. But this is what the brow kit looks like. So this is really cool. It is for you to shape your brows. So it actually comes with a stencil for you to stencil on your brows if you struggle with getting just the right shape, the brow gel, and the brow brush. How awesome is this? If you struggle with getting your eyebrows in the right shape, this just does it for you. And it's everything you need in one handy little box that magnetizes shocker clothes for you to keep safe with your makeup you guys this is just absolutely amazing as i mentioned in the beginning this is going to be a long video because i'm catching you up on my favorites so if you've made it this far you are almost to the end of this video we have just a few more products i'm going to do a giveaway for this brow kit as i thank you for all of you that have stuck it out till this end very close to the end of a very long favorites video so all you have to do is to enter for the win of this brow kit from Tori Bell is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, that your bell notification is turned on, thumbs up this video, and down in the comment section, comment eyebrows. That is how I'm going to know that you got this far in the video, and that will, will gain you an entry to win. Again, make sure you're subscribed, your bell's turned on, your thumbs up, and you put the word eyebrows down in the comment section. You have to do all four things I will be checking to win. You guys, this is like a $50 value, so definitely you're going to love this. Love, love, love. Now, this is the taupe, so this is for a little bit lighter hair color. So if you are someone that has really, really dark hair like mine, it may not work for you. You can certainly still enter and give it away. So excited to give this away for you guys. I also want to share with you guys some of my favorite lipsticks. I get a ton of questions on what color lipstick I'm wearing. So these are my three go-tos. These are the ones that you're generally going to see me wearing. First is this one from Tori Bell. This is actually the color that I'm wearing today. So this is kind of a bright purple color. This is in the shade The Fuchsia is Clean. I love this lip color. I wear it all the time. It's nice if you're looking for just like a really bold lip to kind of snazz up your look for the day. Another one I wear all the time is also from Beauty Counter. This is the nine to five. And this is more of a matte, like kind of mauve color of lip color. I really like this one as well. This is much more neutral. Generally, you guys will compliment this if I'm wearing more of a neutral lip. So this one, again, if you're not into the bright, fun colors, this one is still bright and fun, but it's much more neutral. And then third is from Tori Bell. This is the Velvet Kisses. This is the red color that I wear a lot that you guys are always asking me about. I like the applicator on this because it's kind of that sponge applicator like a lip gloss would be. And I really like how this goes on. It's a nice matte finish. So these are my three go-to lip colors and you guys are always, always asking me. I'll link all three of these down below. And last, we're at the end. Yay. But certainly not least 
is my new favorite straightener. It's what I straighten my hair with today. And that is the Duval straightener. This thing is killer, you guys. It heats up in literally like 30 seconds, but it doesn't get so hot that it does damage to your hair. Your hair turns out sleek and shiny with a perfect, perfect straight look. I love this. I even use this to do curls in my hair. Whenever I have my hair kind of curled, you guys ask me how I do that. It's using my flat iron. I sometimes use a wand, but most of the time I use a flat iron to get those kind of beachy waved curls. The Duval is my go-to. I love the color. I love how it works. It's extremely affordable. It's actually 70% off right now, making this straightener less than $30. Both the straightener and the wands, there's a couple of different sizes, are 70% off. I'll link that down below for you guys. If you're looking for a really good affordable like salon quality wand or straightener, highly recommend Duval. Check them out. They have a couple of skin surf resurfacing type of products as well. Not like gels, but more of the tools to resurface your skin, if that makes any sense. But I'm obsessed with both the wand and the flat iron, and you can't beat less than $30. All right, my friends, that is everything for the month of June. Well, the month of May and June, technically. I'm so excited to be able to bring you these favorite videos once a month. It's really, again, going to cut down on how long they are. I'll be able to show you in real time the things that I'm loving for that month. So definitely stay tuned in July for my favorites from the month of June. All of the items that I showed you that I'm able to find online will be linked down below. Any discounts that I can round up or that I can share with you will also be linked down below. Highly recommend checking a few of these things out. I would not show them to you if they weren't literally my favorite things. And you guys have, again, seen several of these in other videos. That's how often I'm using, eating these particular items. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I upload most days of the week. So I'd love it if you'd stick around, join my YouTube friends and family, hit that little subscribe button and make sure you're hitting that bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You also need that to be in the drawing. So make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. I'd love a big thumbs up on this one again for the drawing if you love today's favorites video and of course check out that description box down below for all the links to all of these fun exciting things thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video